I'm the operator with my pocket calculator. Hallo, ich bin, uh, ich bin Hi, hi. I'm, I'm, that's the speech of Nicola, and unfortunately, is in Italy, and must uh, another thing to do. And uh, I want to read uh, his speech. I, uh, I'm agree. I'm Manuel Villan from, from Spain. Uh, I'm agree with uh, his ideas about the analog, uh, analog computing. That's the. The text of Nicola. The, uh, the picture is from an uh, old uh, science fiction uh, science fiction book, the pirate, pirate with the slide roll. <laughs> that was the pewter, do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, oh. One moment. That's the thing. No, no. The analog calculator is disappearing fast as digital devices become more re reliable and power efficient. But in extreme use, when reliability comes first, they still be indispensable. What do uh, you prefer to have operating in these scenarios? A battery dependent device or a rigid slide roll? Obvious. <laughs> Both yeah. temperature and relative humidity affect fire behavior. Hot and dry conditions are fire mm, spread by preheating and removing moisture from fuels, often leading to dangerous and uh, unpredictable conditions. The wildland fire environment is unforgiving for electronics. For these calculations, the fire brigade standard kit used a classic slide, uh, psychometer and a slide roll. Slide rolls have more use in firefighting. The energy company British Petroleum has recently made a set of two to help reduce the dangers of tank fires. The first estimate uh, application flow and uh, and water quantities required for a fuel surface tank fire, the second for a rain seal fire. A bad tank, this big tank, can need up to 3,000 liters per minute and 250,000 liters of foam to extinguish the blaze. This is a true slide rear affair. A dangerous case. <laughs> a rigid calculator is also needed in case of nuclear war. To those interest, those interest in, in an explosion exist many radiation analog computers designed to make data easily available on various weapons events. They have to be strong and radiation proof. Yeah. Electromagnetic pulse is a nuclear weapons effect that uh, can have significant impact on electronic equipment through current charges. Computer chips are particularly vulnerable since they are designed to operate at a very low power levels. An electromagnetic resistance slide rule is needed. The vector is <laughs> The effects of a nuclear explosion and the probability of a survive calculate with the, the right strike rule. That about seven mile area, con mm -hmm. concrete building damage, person in basement, 15% person survive. <laughs> That's, that can be calculated with the, the slide rule. But we have another solution. Those slides rule determine the radiation that's absorbed by the personnel after the, a nuclear explosion. The damage of two buildings, the extent of the fire zones, 
the percent of the population call it, trap it, and then endure it. But the base solution is stop with nu nuclear weapons. That's the hobbies for uh, Nicola. After five atomic bombs, etc., we need uh, recreational times. What's better than uh, scuba diving? He loves uh, it, and uh, the new and ratchet air nitrox technicians allow longer no the compression limits, but these exiting dives are very difficult to plane. An uh, underwater computer is required. The compressed air goes in solution in our blood and comes uh, all into bubbles and ascending from the deep without care. A plane is needed from emerge and calculate stops based on the length and the depth of the dive. Sport divers use computer, but a rescue diver have to know the descompression slate rule planer. It is a waterproof device, but it's recommended to use it before diving. Plan you dive, dive your plane. Underwater, the oxygen becomes toxic, procuring loss and uh, of attention. A wrong time to calculate plane change with a slight roll. Yes, a modern computer is easier, but battery problems and uh, hiccups are a regular occurrence. Be better have some backup calculation, on with battery and a one without. This one. The analog calculations mm, accompanied pilots from the beginning of flight. Accurate and easy to use. They will always be essential on board and backup. To go away from my island, the, that is uh, Sardinia, Sardin, the island for Nicola. I have to, to cross 400 uh, kilometers of sea and must have a reliable calculator, independent from, from batteries. In case of electric failure, and the slide rule is perfect. What's used by Spock will be good for, for me. That's another science fiction scene with uh, uh, Mr. Spock with a uh, with uh, with a uh, aeronautic air slide rule. This one, <laughs> the aircraft slide, uh, slide rule E six P was invented in the thirties, and uh, its use is so in instinctive that. Uh, that is often preferred to modern device. Solves all the problems of, of flights. Find the angle of uh, drive caused by the wind and convert the jungle of measures in, in which the pilot must unravel. Useful, useful in professional version or just in handmade in paper in the right side. Both engine and aerodynamic performance of an aircraft decrease when low pressure area, higher temperature, and or high humidity lower the density of the air. We need to check before if engine or power or and the tarmac length are sufficient for a safe takeoff. Due of their simplicity, the density altitude slide rules are the best solutions for all small aircrafts. When I do not pilot, I like to jump. But where I will land, another thing, it's a circular slide rule calculates the, the com computed air release point for a parachute drop. Considering a high speed free for ballistic stage and low speed high drag the deployed stage. It is a big and proof item to be used with gloves in a cold and non pressurized aircraft. Uh, 
another hobby. <laughs> a classic rally is uh, a competition reserved to all cars that uh, pits competitors against their own driving and the clock. The driver nominates a lap time and an in divorce to maintain the, the time over a number of flying laps of the race circuits. Each tenth of a second away from the nominated time score uh, penalty points. The navigator manages uh, automata, speedometer and uh, stopwatch, but there is a lot of math to perform. He needs a calculator to find time needed to travel each lap, speedometer, uh, speed required uh, to travel at the desired actual speed, corrected elapsed uh, time for the um, distance, uh, traveled, speed that is needed to make you uh, um, for lost time, last time. Yeah. And another uh, long range shooting is for Nicola, an interesting dis discipline. Must uh, have good skill fundamentals and uh, in addition be able to make a variety of ballistic calculations. Not easy. Indeed, to hit uh, a target uh, three kilometers away must uh, perform several calculations. The ballot undergoes many external influences and uh, one millimeter of error will divide it of meters. On the field of calcul calculator has to be right and reliable for mission impos impossible. We need a slight roll at a distance of uh, um, 1,000 meters or more becomes harder to see and uh, at the target. The slight roll. We have to know to calculate the the need, needed correction, distance of the target, ballet speed, spin drift and drop, temperature, barometric pressure <coughs> and altitude of our, our position, wind direction and speed, barrel rate uh, of twist, Coriolis effect, uh, mirage, uh, cushion angle of the target, etc. Must be got uh, uh, at mat and uh, the ballistic slide rule is a standard user for special force uh, snipers. It is easier and faster than a computer and never fails. As you see, analog device still useful in, in many fields. Their reading is less uh, accurate than the digital, but easier to evaluate the position of the Pointer indicates a strong wind, with no, with no need to interpret the numeric value. Indeed, aircraft uh, still have analog panels. In one second, you can check many instruments. Fly safe, fly analog. Easier the left one, the analog. And for finish. The conclusion, the future of this traditional device looks hard, but the analog interface is uh, too practical and will survive. Here you can see uh, an E6P in form on navigation EPP. The slide you set for Spock in, in uh, APP. The analog is back in a digital environment, but the slide rules wait uh, patiently in the dark. They will be here and uh, ready when the current electronic <coughs> gadgetry fat fades. <laughs> That's fun. Set differently Shakespeare's plays. What's uh, the plan for next year? When? Well, it's always sometime in September, at a date very similar to this year, namely 21st and 20, oops, uh, 27th, 20, uh, 22nd of September 2018. So, everybody, please uh, take out your calendars, your agendas, and write it down. 
What? Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, and again, we have a uh, we have a theme, and it's, if it's Shakespeare's plays, it has to be something with that. So it's from sonnets to sums. Okay. You know what to do. Everybody, take out the go to the bookshop. Read your Shakespeare again. Find good quotes <laughs> to make nice presentations. Yeah. Um, everybody has to do so. So you recognize in the quotes your presentation, please. Um, yeah, very good. It's, it's, it's at the Stratford Hotel. Um, the Brit and the English have also a certain tradition, namely to make a display that is uh, to call out and uh, for people and bring along their specific thing for this uh, theme, for display, and that is early British rules and second theme, long scale rules. So, again, dates we need a certain. Uh, uh, a yeah, notice to intend the paper so that they know what's going on, deadlines and all that. And the important thing is they're really hurried to have those things, everything ready. You can read that all on a website. But first I have to give a warning or an information. First there is this place, Stratford upon Avon, uh, south of Birmingham. That's the place. <coughs> but there are several other Stratfords in Britain. Please, Stratford upon Avon. What else is on the, on, the, on the map? There is a place called Milton Keynes, which is actually not meant, but a place nearby. Actually, there is nearby something about here, yes, uh, where we already have been in 2012, namely Bletchley Park. And this is just a reminder anybody traveling to Britain uh, that they have there the National Museum Computing, and uh, of course, there is also a display by the UK SRC, <coughs> by the UK a <coughs> slide, collect, slide rule collector. So, go along there, have a look even more, and if you've been there, just a refresher because uh, lots of that is refreshed because many things there belonged to Colin Burns and were sold uh, a year ago. So, plan, plan your trip. This is a view of the hotel, and most important is next to the date you wrote. In, uh, in your notes that you write down this web address, this URL, you know, UKSRC or UK, you should know that, hmm? and I am 2018.